Okay. Um, so, what is your name? My name is Katie Bach. Okay. And um, as an inspe inspector, is your job very hard? It can be. Um, we have a lot of fun with it. Um, on the Thursday of the regional competitions is when we need to get all the robots inspected. So we're usually trying to get six, uh, 60 robots inspected in that, on that day, so it can be pretty hectic. But we have a great team, and um, with enough volunteers, we can get through all the robots and have a great time. So is there a process to inspecting the robot? Yes, we have all the robots come up to the inspection station and we get their initial weight and their frame perimeter size um, and their bumper weight. And then we uh, take the inspector back to the pit with the team um, and they go through the inspection checklist and uh, make sure that they meet all the rules. All right. Um, so is it very crazy on these days? Yeah, sometimes we have robots break down or we have um, teams that didn't necessarily interpret the rules um, correctly, so we have to help them get, become compliant. So our inspectors are great at uh, helping out and finding the parts that we need to help teams get fixed and uh, make sure we can help troubleshoot and get them back on the field. All right. um, so do you have any crazy stories about inspecting some robots? Um, let me think. Um, one of the first years that I inspected, uh, we were going to do a power on check, um, and the team had still was still working on their programming. So as soon as we enabled the robot, it started spinning out of control, um, and so I was kind of getting wrapped up in their Ethernet cord, had to jump out of the way. So that was a little bit crazy. So now I ask teams if anything's going to happen when we, before we enable. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, 